Uh, but anyway, I ordered us an Uber pool because I'm a baller. Um, but honestly, like Uber pool is the only way I can feel alive anymore because you never know what you're gonna get. You know, you get a sweet old lady, you get a Trump supporter, you get a SoundCloud rapper with like six DUIs, you get a sweet old lady, secretly a Trump supporter, six DUIs. No, but uh, the Uber comes and I'm excited because it's a white guy. And white people never drive an Uber unless they have to. And I'm double excited because there's a sweet old lady sitting in the back. So I hop in the front, Megan hops in the back, and we're off. And we eventually drop off Margaret. After Margaret explains how her and, and Suzanne went to the gala last week, but Suzanne was being a little bitch, pardon her French, and wanted to play bingo all night. So Margaret got to talking. Did somebody say No. So Margaret got to conversating and she ran into her third ex-husband, Rick. And her and Rick got to talking and they found out that they were going to the same charity event next week, which was so funny because her and Rick had talked, to get, talked with each other in five years, not because the divorce was bad or anything, but just because they had gone their separate ways. And that just goes to show that life can be so funny, but you young people wouldn't know anything about that. <laughs> so anyway, we brought Margaret off and I decided to be quiet because I figured Uber driver Bill had had enough of them, but apparently had ulterior motives. So we're sitting there in silence, and Uber driver Bill goes, uh, so where are you guys going? Which confused me because he was the one that was driving. <laughs> but I tell him, yeah, we're going to go support a friend at a comedy show. And he says, oh, you guys do comedy. That's pretty cool. And I'm like, yeah, 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 that's kind of cool. Um, end of conversation, right? And then he goes, you know, I'm, I know a lot of comedians in Los Angeles. It's kind of hard out there for them, you know. A lot of them end up depressed or even suicidal. Which is an interesting take on comedy from your Uber driver. <laughs> but I go, yeah, it's hard in Boston, uh, but a lot of people get good work here, so it, it's kind of cool. And then it's quiet. End of conversation, right? And then he goes, you know, I actually do a little bit of stand-up myself. <laughs> at this point, I look back at Megan. Megan looks up at me, and we both realize what's about to happen. <laughs> Next thing I know, we're getting unwanted, unsolicited stand-up, kind of like you're getting now. And I wish I could say it was good. It was good too. It was so bad, and we were giving him polite laughs at first, you know. And but Megan stops laughing. <laughs> I have to pull one of these. <laughs> Good one, good one. Laugh or we die. <laughs> because I don't need to be on CNN the next morning, you know. Three people died in a tragic Uber accident after the black one stopped laughing, you know. I don't need to do this. <laughs> and then, and then I hear Uber driver Bill go, and you know, the thing about black people is, I know. <laughs> and I stopped laughing for a minute, and I felt the weight of my ancestors, you know, 250 years of slavery, 100 years of segregation and oppression, all of my ancestors telling me not to laugh. But none of those motherfuckers were in the front seat of a depressed Uber driver, so I kept on laughing. <laughs> so eventually we get to our destination. Amen, Holly. Yeah. And I get out, and I get a notification on my phone saying that, my Uber bill had been paid, and I was pissed. I had just paid $8.99 to hear a shitty Uber driver tell me jokes for 23 minutes. I'm not even getting paid to be here tonight. <laughs> so I pull out my phone, I open the Uber app, and I give him five stars and a tip because I support the gig economy. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> please welcome to the stage, The Callback! I'm sorry that it's so sweaty. Um, but we have a really nice show for you, so thank you all and enjoy an extremely loud and incredibly placed directed by John Kuzinski. <laughs> Army. 
shut you down on Earth in approximately one hour. We need our defenses up and running. Station A, what's the status report on the plasma shield? Primed and ready, sir. Orbital strike missiles? Locked and loaded, sir. Alpha 6 Squadron? Refueling, sir. Sea access, they need about 20 minutes. Tell them to finish up down there and await orders. Uh, sir. What? You might want to take a look at this. Oh, no. The Korean Army's here. Station C, what's the status on Alpha Squad? Still refueling, sir. Uh, tell them to scramble bandit squad now and bring up the plasma shield. Sir! What? You might want to take a look at this. <laughs> the plasma shield's been deactivated. All right, future reference, just, just tell me that. I'm like five feet away from you. Sir? What? You might want to take a look at this. <laughs> beta squad's been eliminated. Sir! You better take a look at this! Uh, my lunch with beta squad's been canceled. Sir! <laughs> what? What are you doing? Is this some sort of joke? Sir? No, 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 no. What is with this, uh, come take a look at this tomfoolery? Sir! What? No, why are you staring at me all dramatically? <laughs> Sir, you better... If the next words out of your mouth are, come over here and take a look at this, so help me God, I will beat the shit out of you. Uh, <laughs> sir, it may be thy desire to... What did I hire you people for, <laughs> damn it? You are analysts. You do analysis. If I wanted something to make loud noises anytime something went wrong, do you know what I'd get? Do you know what I'd get? I would get a fucking alarm. <laughs> better take a nope. look at this. No, 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 you're gonna tell me. I'm gonna stand right over here. You... But, sir... No, nope, say it. Come on, say it out loud. Sir, you really should come take a look I at... I swear to God, if you do not tell me what it is, I'm gonna blast your nuts with so much gamma radiation, you look like the hooker I slept with on planet Hermarpia. Your test results are back, sir. <laughs> you have Hermerpies. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Our five beautiful improvisers will be doing a scene. Here's the catch. When they're done with that scene, we are going to vote on who to kill. Yes, one of the improvisers is going to die. And you're thinking, that means, you know, there's not in the scene. Well, you're wrong. That's fucking stupid. They're actually going to die. And uh, it's up to the other improvisers to manipulate their bodies and recreate the scene exactly as it was performed. Right. We're going to keep going down the line until there is one improviser remaining. So. Given that, can I get a suggestion for a location? My bathroom. I like it. <laughs> Shout them out. Dentist. Dentist, keep them coming. Sandcastle. Aquarium. Suggestion is aquarium. All right, improvisers, are you ready? Yeah! Begin. <laughs> works every year when the schools start touring. Okay, send them in. Get All right, kids. <laughs> look, at the, look at the dolphin. Why does the dolphin wear a belt? <laughs> why, why is the dolphin, why, why, why is the dolphin wearing shoes? It's <laughs> water shoes. You haven't worn those? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oink. <laughs> Maybe we should get the rain laid here. We got, all right, bring the pigs out. Bring the pigs out. See. <laughs> all right. So, I'm going to put my hand over the improvisation. 
supervisor to indicate that's who we're voting on. And if you want them to die, you clap, you hoot, you holler, be as loud as you can. And that's how we'll determine who dies. So, let's start with Megan. Die! Aranya. Die! Maddie. Yeah. Don't even worry about it. The kids won't know the difference. I feel like they're they're gonna know. Like, <laughs> listen, you're new here. The kids... Hey, I got a line of uh, kids outside looking to see some dolphins. It works every year when the schools start touring. Trust me, get in the fucking water. <laughs> All right, Benjamin. kids, come on. Why, why, why is the shark wearing a bell? That's a dolphin. It's a dolphin. <laughs>
Laugh if you want to kill Megan. Or do you want to kill Laura? I uh, think we're all set here. Oh, actually, could you sign this? 
Um, it's just a standard waiver in case of any accidents, like you slip on a block of ice, you stub your toe, or we crack your skull open to extract your brain. Uh, I don't know. Oh, and uh, am I putting these on? Oh, you're crazy, man. <laughs> you can't just do that. Danielle, were you really doing anything useful with your life before this moment? Um, yeah, I was going to become a philosophy major. Were <laughs> <laughs> you really doing anything useful with your life before this moment? <laughs> That's right, you are going nowhere in life. Don't let your brain rot inside your body for the next 50 years. Donate it to science! I mean, you're not wrong. I've only gotten F since I've been here. I can't land any internships. I just... Just make it quick, Professor. Hey, <laughs> Danielle, you are making the right choice. I just... I can't imagine that the brain of a loser like me would make any contribution to science of being dropped off a building. Interesting point. I think the brain of someone much smarter would be much more useful. Very true. The brain of someone smart enough to, say, be the department chair of the Department of Neurophysics, perhaps. Yeah, but where could we find someone like... Eureka! Danielle, do you know what a breakthrough this could be for science? I'll extract a specimen immediately. Well, no, 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 I was just saying, I, I didn't... In the name of science! <laughs> wow. I wonder where I kept those shirts. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> what did he say about your fucking hands? Get on your knees! We said everything, buddy. Just gave him everything I have, I swear. Yeah, we gave him everything. You say you gave him everything? All right, Coots, drop the gun in the money. This is a robbery. What? Um, wait, wait. Is this clear enough? If you don't give me the money and the gun, I'm going to start killing the oh. starting with this clown right here. All right, Tino. Take it easy, man. That's what I like to see. <laughs> All right, you potatoes. This is a robbery. <laughs> if you don't let me take that money and keep your hands in the air, I'm going to kill every one of these hostages, starting with... Me! <laughs> I'm not letting anyone die today. <laughs> but there's something you might want to know. What? What? I took the cops off hours ago. They know about everything. The getaway park, the private plane to Ecuador, the offshore bank accounts, trafficking those pangolins and selling them for traditional Eastern medicine. Damn it! Just let everyone go. Foiled by a couple of wannabe heroes. Oh, 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 oh my god! Oh, $200. Oh. <laughs> well, buddy, you're safe for now. One more lousy trafficker off the streets. Thank you, my friend. Now my family can look down from heaven and know that I have a benefit. <laughs> now put your hands up and give me the money! This is a job! Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> Online videos on the web doesn't have anything to do with Jack Sparrow or Captain Hook, but it does have something to do with federal criminality. Would you steal a necklace from a store? Would you ride off with someone else's bike without paying for it? Would you commit a broad scale crime of fraud as CEO of a major banking company? Would you participate in a massive international opioid smuggling cartel? Would you fabricate a counterfeit lottery ticket to unjustly claim $16 million as your own? Would you intentionally kill a person due to motives including, but not limited to, passion, malice, or monetary reward? Would you initiate a prison riot to contribute to the protest of systemic corruption that inmates continue to face within the federal and state correctional facility programs in the United States? Would you aid U.S. opponent international hackers by providing top secret governmental information regarding such subjects as Area 51, the nuclear codes, Hillary's emails, or the real mastermind behind 9-11? Would you manipulate a group of unassuming civilians to form a cult, eventually coercing them to grant you all of their possessions and savings and leave their wealth established lives and families in order to join your illegal commune, discreetly located in the depths of the French Guinea jungles, with an ultimate plan of leaving them for dead, abandoning your devoted followers for an end goal of living in extremely wealthy solitude despite the inevitable truth, which you know to be true, that you will never be fulfilled by any of this, any material aspects of life, that, without love and good intention, it was all for nothing, all for- Okay, Jesus Christ, I get it. I downloaded Airbud's seventh inning fetch from iTunes for $3.99. It's a federal crime to download movies, okay? I, I get it. That's what I thought, you upper middle class bitch. So remember, kids, don't break the law. Don't pirate videos illegally. It's a crime. I mean, I don't know if starting a cult is technically a crime. Like, if you really get into the details. Piracy. It's a crime. Hey, you see that girl over there? Helen? What a nerd. I bet you couldn't get that girl's dad to adopt you. Wait, what? I bet you couldn't get Helen's dad to adopt you. Why would anyone want to do that? <laughs> what? 
You bet me that I couldn't get Helen's dad to adopt me? No, I seriously didn't bet, bet you. Okay, fine, you're on. Hi, I'm Zach. so fast. How do I know it's real? Because I want to meet your parents. <gasps> also, you look really good without your glasses. Like, it's crazy. <laughs> I'm so close to meeting her dad, I can feel it. Dude. Stay away from me. I'm not gonna help you get adopted by Helen's dad. You don't get it. There to be more than just a bet. It was never a bet. You know, I think tonight's going really well. My parents like you, especially my dad. Your dad loves me? I wouldn't say loves, but... Well, he did ask me to mash the potatoes. Everything will be okay if you let your dad adopt me. Why do you keep saying that? Maybe we could be happy if you let your dad adopt me. Do you even love me for me or for my dad? I just don't know what to do. This all started as a bet, but it's so much more now. I didn't even bet you in the first place, but... If what you feel about Helen's dad is true... It is. Then you know what you've got to do. I need to see how I feel! Zach, what are you doing here? Helen, I ran over here. I ran over here and it was raining, I could have driven, but I ran over here and I wanted, I wanted to tell you... It's not raining. It's always been you, Helen. It's always been you. And your dad. What? Let's alone. Wait, we need a witness. No problem. I already called my art your dad. Helen? I know you're young, but I really like this young. I'm happy. Yes! I did it! Did what? Wait, are these adoption papers? Welcome home.